Hi, this is Pitluni and in today's episode I present you my first Arduino library for the ESP32 and show you a beginner-friendly way to use it for VGA output without any extra components. My last video on the ESP32 VGA was quite successful. However, it was targeting experience makers and some of you requested a super simple version. So I did a coding marathon and created a beginner-friendly Arduino library with a lot of basic examples for you. It even got a tremendous performance boost. But let's start from the beginning and do it step by step. First of all you will need an ASP32 based microcontroller. You can get them for under $5 shipped from China. Pick one with many pins like this one or this one if you want to use 14-bit color and sound later. I linked some of these down below. Obviously we also need a display with VGA input. I found this one in the dumpster, so you can get these decommissioned ones for free. To be able to connect the microcontroller to the display we take an old VGA cable. We strip the wires and try to identify which pin of the connector is connected to which wire. Here are the pins we need to find. If there are separate wires for pin 5 and 10 of the connector, simply connect them to one ground. To test which pin connects to which wire, we can use the continuity testing mode of the multimeter. If you don't own a multimeter, buy one, it's the number one instrument. But you could also use a simple LED like this. The short leg of the LED to ground and the long leg to 3.3 volts of a microcontroller. Just like this. Make notes which pin of the connector connects to which wire. You can ignore any other wires. For simplicity I take here some jumper wires and connect them crudely to the cable ends. You should solder or crimp them if you have the possibilities. Now we can simply connect them to the microcontroller pins. Ground, red, green, blue, horizontal sync and vertical sync. You can change the pin configuration in the sketch later if you need to. And this is how it looks like with this one. And that's all hardware we need at the beginning. To program it you will need the Arduino IDE or Platform I.O. I show it with the Arduino IDE for simplicity. You can download it for free. After the installation we need to add the ESP32 support. We open the preferences and add this URL to the sources. Now we can add the ESP32 support in the boards manager. After a successful installation all kinds of ESP32 boards appear in the list. If yours isn't in the list, try just ESP32 dev module. Now we need to select the serial port. It will appear in the list after you connected the microcontroller to the USB. The last step is to install my ESP32 library. Go to sketch, include library, manage libraries, Simply type bitluni and install it. Now we are set up. Let's connect the cable to the TV and try an example. The examples are listed under examples from custom libraries. Let's try hello world. The code is very simple and everything is explained. Let's upload it. Let's try another example. The VGA Wi-Fi terminal creates an access point or connects to your Wi-Fi and serves a web page. Anything you type there appears on the VGA display. That should give you a good starting point for your projects. We are currently not using any external components, so we are limited to 8 colors. Some of the examples are using this 3-bit driver and should be sufficient for starters. 
The graphics examples using the 14-bit driver will work as well, but are not as impressive. It's still a simple entry point for your projects. That was easy, wasn't it? We can proceed with level 2 in the next part and set up simple resistor letters to get the super awesome colorful graphics. If you can't wait, the documentation is already there to explore all the neat things the library provides so far. When you get anything running, no matter how simple, please share a picture over Twitter or Instagram at bitluni with the hashtag ESP32lib. I would love to see it. Thank you for watching and see you in level 2. Bye!